Namaskar, Manakam, Sashriyakal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anshal. And I'm Jaden. And today we're going to react into the world without India. What would that look like? Oh my god, what would that look like? Yeah. The world without India. It's I crazy can't even to imagine. imagine. Now that we've learned so many wonderful what? things. Yeah. Go ahead, One, we Jean. wouldn't have shampoo. Right. Because they invented that. We wouldn't have technology until probably later on because they invented zero. Right, which is We're how our computers were. Things. Um, you know, the beautiful festivals, the <sighs> food, the spices. Yeah. The spices, it's like 70% of, the, of yeah. the world. Spices come from India. So. I mean, just amazing, amazing things mm -hmm. that come from India, right? Yeah. And yeah. I can't even imagine. So I'm interested to see... Uh, how What's they would deflect the world without India. Yeah. yeah. All right, start it up. Have you ever thought about what the Industrial Revolution, Pokemon, and the Kardashians have in common? Without them, our world would be a much different place. But have you ever thought about how the world would look without India? From breathtaking landscapes to rich culture and traditions, from mouth-watering cuisine to stunning architecture, yeah, India are. has it all. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine missing one-sixth of the world population? With over 1.3 billion, India makes up 17% of the world population, wow. is the wow. biggest democracy in the world, and it also has the third largest economy. But the population of Bharata, the Hindi name for India, is not only large, but also extremely diverse. There's no country Modi. more diverse than I India, was like, culturally, not. religiously, and intellectually. Do you fancy mm. cakes and cookies? Mm. You'll also have to thank India for your cavities and Why diabetes, as it was India. the first country to develop extraction and purifying techniques of sugar uh, back in 350 you. AD. Yes. And thank ever since, they have been adding it to their cooking and desserts in ginormous quantities, 20 kilograms per capita, more precisely. But even if they do have a sweet tooth, Indian men know that sweets are not how you win a woman's heart. Diamonds are. So guys, if you want to blame someone for having to spend thousands on an engagement ring, Indians are the ones. They were the first to mine those expensive rocks that yeah, make your girlfriends happy. And Indians' passion for splendor doesn't stop at shiny jewelry. Their cities are engulfed by people. Okay, more than usual, during festivals such as Holi, Diwali, Navarati, and um, Ona, yeah. which are known for being big and extremely the, colorful. In Diwali fact, the Holi festival well. inspired the famous color run. Yeah. And that's Diwali. not the only thing Westerners borrowed from Indians. We are what we think, said Buddha. Probably one of the reasons why India is such a diverse country is because of the multitude of religious beliefs, traditions, and practices. The Indian subcontinent is the birthplace yeah. of four of the world's major religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. But considering the very idea of religion was born there, that is to be expected. Wow. Do you sometimes miss your Pentium computer? You might not be alone. <laughs> Up until 2009, 90% of the world's uh -huh. computers run on a Pentium chip, which was developed by the Indian engineer, entrepreneur, and venture capitalist, Vinod Dung. But a laptop without Wi-Fi is like a football without beer. Well, guess what? The father of wireless communication was also an Indian. Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose's contributions to the field of radio and microwave optics gained him the title of Father of Radio Science by the IEEE. So basically, we owe our most prized possession, our wireless internet, to Indians. When it comes to war, wait, what? War? India has never invaded or attacked another country in the last 10,000 years. However, they are the world's largest importer of arms. So better safe than sorry. They'll bike to your country with a rocket if they have to. Don't be too fast in thinking that India is the perfect country to live in, though. Masanram, a village on the Kasi Hills, Meghalaya, is officially the wettest inhabited place in the world. But Indians don't seem to whine as much as others do. On the contrary, it seems like they really like wet places, so much so that they even have a floating post office. Sailing to closer what? waters, what? like the ones in your shower, mm -hmm. did you know that Indians also invented shampooing? The word shampoo uh, comes yeah. from the Sanskrit shampoo, which means massage, and they've been massaging with herbs for thousands of years. So next time you're in the shower, you can also dedicate a song to yeah, India. smells lovely. Yes. How about we talk about India. what really matters? Entertainment. Without Freddie Mercury and Ben Kingsley, the world of entertainment would not be the same. 
Queen's lead vocalist was born in Parsi with the name Farouk Osara, while the famous Oscar-winning Hollywood star Ben Kingsley was born as Krishna Pandit Banji. We saved the best for last. Finance. Last year, the goods and services tax was introduced in India. This is the first step towards dramatically reshaping the country's $2 trillion economy and lifting the burden that up until now fell on both companies and consumers. Wow. wow. I mean, yeah. a lot of those things, just because we've been doing these mm -hmm. reaction we videos, already. We, we knew already the zero, so that the, the shampoo computer. or shampoo. Yeah. And, um, you know, just many things, but it would be a sad world if yeah. India was not there. We so. wouldn't have sweets. Anji's <laughs> all about the food, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. I want to go eat Spices. all the mangoes. Um, Jaden loves mangoes. Yes, 75% yeah. of the world's spices are in India, so mm -hmm. imagine all the spices gone. Right. Well, there's been a lot of great leaders in India. There's, uh, you know, it's like one of the oldest cities between yeah. the temples. And um, India has such great diversity mm -hmm. from different religions yeah. and, um, you know, just so many different cultures that come together, so many festivals. I mean, it's just amazing and can't imagine the world mm -hmm. without India. So what would you miss if India was gone? Mm -hmm. The green elephant in the festival. Mm, the elephants mm, that elephants are part of the festivals. Festival. Yeah, they really decorate them very nicely, mm -hmm. right? They look fabulous. Um, what would you miss? Anjali? One of the things I would miss would probably be Wi-Fi. One reason for like a safety reason, like you can't have like a phone going out of the house. You'd have to like find some place to get a phone with a cord that goes like. You know, like a telephone. For those of us who are a little bit older, you know, like the phones on the side of the street where you would actually have to, like, put a quarter in and, and dial somebody. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and then for other purposes, you know, entertainment, so. Right. Because mm -hmm. we wouldn't have our channel. We wouldn't nope. have Wi-Fi, right? We wouldn't be able to share our experience with India and see India through the internet if we didn't have it, right? Yeah. Thanks to the number zero and... um and radio technology that came from there. Just yes. amazing. Yeah, I think it's such a beautiful place. I think all those rivers and um, temples and just everything would be so sad if mm -hmm. it was gone. So yeah. we're so glad that India is here and around. And we promise you we will come visit. And yes. we'll let you know. So don't worry. But if you like this... Don't forget to click that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Right? And click that notification bell so you know when we post new videos. And join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.